So um, I'm ex excited to be here this morning to, to give a little bit of a perspective on HTAP, starting from the analytics side, uh, based on things that we're seeing at Databricks. Um, and um, uh, basically, um, I think this is a really exciting time to be working on data systems, and the HTAP systems, like what Max talked about, what, uh, what he's doing with IDB, um, are an example of you know, how people are innovating in this space. So what's, what's kind of changing in the world of data? Um, so there are actually a lot of exciting things going on. So it's a really good time for kind of new data systems at all levels of the stack. Um, and, so, and this plot here is, is showing sort of the growth of our platform of the compute workloads we run over time. You can see they're still growing quickly. And of course, managing this kind of platform, it's, it's all a cloud service, um, is, yeah. is quite challenging. So I'm going to talk about two things today. First of all, I'll talk about how these analytics use cases that we work on are becoming more and more real time. And I'll talk about two trends in there, which are lake house systems that are you know, a little bit like HTAP. They're kind of this hybrid system that reduces the, the time to get uh, sort of value from data. And also about the rise of streaming, which is something we've been seeing a lot of recently. And then I'll also talk about how in Databricks itself to run the control plane that runs these you know, 15 million plus VMs, um, we are starting to use TidyB and HTAP-like systems ourselves to deliver our own service. Okay. As you can see, I think it, it resonates a lot with what, what Max said. Things are becoming uh, much more real-time, and I think you'll see this across many industries in the next few years. Um, the final bit I want to talk about is the control plane for running this kind of service. And, you know, I couldn't give a talk here without mentioning that we're also um, starting to use TidyB for the Databricks control plane, uh, and it's a very exciting technology for that. And we, we want to be cautious with it, uh, but we've been, you know, we're starting to do that too. And we found that the MySQL compatibility has been super nice for that because I said we can uh, easily move even individual customers between MySQL and TidyB um, and move them back uh, when things are going wrong. 